though. Could we catch a taxi or something? We're going to take a minute. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Yep. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Shit. Fucker bounce. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. No. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? I mean, yeah. This it one's has awesome. a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Okay, not suspicious at all. Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Uh, let me just take some look-sees around here a little bit more.
<laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why, is that? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to go back up. Is there anything more I can see? Oh. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. It looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you'd cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Uh, anything else in here? I don't think so. Just throw that shit on the floor, I guess. Big V. Alright, let's see what you have to say, Toad. Never been good with the feminine duties. <laughs> Own body stuff with my clumsy hands. Toad, I know you're lying about the blood. W what do you mean? I'm not lying. I cut myself on the poker thing. Come on, you said you cut your foot, you said you cut your hand, and that much blood? Hmm, it's not adding up, buddy. <laughs> Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get much out of him. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. Dude, I'm not gonna have to rough up Toad, am I? Because I'm pretty sure What's-Her-Face gets mad at me for doing that. What is it? Just tell me what's going on. Dude, come on. I'm not gonna have to beat the shit out of you, huh? What is it, mate? I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. Ah, uh, come on. I think I'm gonna have to, but... Oh. That... more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Uh, a lamp? Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running, didn't stop the recycling, 
What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you oh, moved I it. I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Come clean, Toad, you fucking bitch. I don't have to hurt you. Oh. The window. Okay, I'm not gonna have to get rough a toe this time. There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh. Well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Can I jump out the window? You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? keys since the lock's broken so why'd you climb in through the window huh why'd you climb in through the window you said it yourself the lock's been rotten for weeks you wouldn't have needed a key to get in fucking hell just what are you on about mate after the state i was in i didn't have me head that's all it was i forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted and i'll tell you what else it's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up all right so quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I... Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. Okay, what was that you, thing? I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. 
There's a fur jacket. Fine bit of dress it is. Oh, the donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Oh. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Uh, I kind of want to know what's in it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. All right, successful. Didn't have to beat the fuck out of Toad. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. Oh, we got Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay. I don't want to stay here any morning. longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. Yeah, We're here on official Fabletown business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Oh shit, she wants me to beat him up? Uh, I don't think we can see anything through the window, can we? Just a bunch of food and shit on the floor. Alright, let's open up this fucking door. Can you hear me? Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no! you. No! No. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Oh shit, run. Run, Big B. Go get that fucking motherfucker water. Oh shit. Uh. Come on. Wait, what does this? What does this note say? Pay the cents next time. Wake pizza area. Don't look. Did Goodbye. you find it yet? Yes, I did. Call me your titties. All I'm saying. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? <laughs> Faith. Faith. 
I mean, really? She did this to you then cut off her own fucking head? Shit's wild. Maybe he was just, he just wanted to see Faith. Do you still have that letter? Yes. I'm sorry. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. So, what's it called? Their rent was due. Letters. Okay, let's examine his body. What are they? Bottles. Prescription sleeping pills. Oh, he's got a gun? <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Only a single fire. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. And, okay, well, we can't look at the knife right now. Oh, the fan. That doesn't really help. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, I think that's it. That's everything. Uh, let's take a look at this knife. Take a look sees at the knife sees. It's sharp, and there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? I think it might be a suicide. He has a fucking hole in the side of his head. <laughs> Wait. Can I look at it? Oh. Can I look at him? His body? No, I can't. Okay. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. Can I take it out? Well, it looks like there's a hole in the side of his head. It's been so long. When if he like shot himself through the chest. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. There's something here strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Yeah. I touch the blood though. I feel it. How old is it? Still a little sticky. Oh, it's the bed. Son of a. <coughs> What is that? I never meant to hurt you. It stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. You know, he wants me to look at this more? Oh, 
what about the blood oval over here? I already looked at this before. What about this? Okay. Try and talk to oh, second hand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Stay here. No. One of the Tweedledees. Tweedledee or Tweedledum. Hey, stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> Oof. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. All right, it's the trip trap. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. 
Getting some answers out of them will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? Man, I have no clue. I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. The pen Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I wish you. there was... Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Damn. Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now... I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Oof. My troop trap. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. Bigby. I... Uh, just be careful. Please. The same goes for you. I will. Like, if you can't already tell, I'm just, like, so drawn into this. But, hopefully, do we get a choice to, like, talk to the people outside? Because I'm trying to pause the recording for a second. Uh, the file's going to be too big. I've recorded for, like, an hour already. Can I pause? Oh, okay. So, before we get into there, let me just restart the recording.